Hi, welcome to Barbell Cooking. This is my Burrow Furnace Enameled Dutch Oven, 5.5 quart. There are many like it. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Anyway, a while back I did a review of a Meeson 7 quart Dutch Oven I got as part of a Kickstarter reward, and a viewer saw it and commented and asked if I would do a review of this one. Uh, I don't know if this would be a full-blown review, but I'll just kind of tell you about it. I've had it since December. I've cooked with it several times, and quite simply, I love it. I love the way it performs. Let's talk about dimensions. This is 10 and a half inches across, which is about 26.5 centimeters. It's also about four inches deep, which is about 10 centimeters, and it's supposed to weigh about 14.4 pounds, which is about one stone or 6.5 kilos. Mine actually weighs 15 pounds, 10 ounces, which means I've got a lot more iron in it. And quite honestly, <laughs> Couldn't we all use some more iron in our lives? Cleaning seems to be easy. Although it is heavier than the Meeson at 7 quart, it's smaller and the handles make it a lot easier to handle and maneuver around. It's not awkward at all. Let's talk about the lid. The lid is tight. The lip on it on both sides is seasoned. You can see it's got that nice Burrow Furnace logo right there. And these pips. Now this is something that is different than another Dutch oven that I had that had very high pips. These are much easier to clean and I think they still work fine. They're designed to make your food baste as it cooks so the condensation comes on and drips off where those pips are. I like these much better. The inside has what they call a semi-gloss enamel. Now I'm told that over time it's supposed to season a little bit like bare cast iron. That as the fat molecules stick to the bottom, it will become more non-stick and it will brown food easier. Although I don't have any complaints right now. I think it works fantastically. So what are the things that I like about it? First and foremost, big meal prep. I can cook a lot of food in this to meal prep for the week. Large joints of meat, uh, large vegetable stews, uh, pottages, all kinds of things, even if it's acidic. Because it's enameled, it uh, won't leach and it doesn't taste awful. Uh, it's in black. It's made here in America. It's high quality, it's well designed. As of this video, this is the only one here that's American made. Uh, the Burrow Furnace people melt down rotors and scrap iron, cast these things themselves, they machine them themselves, they coat them themselves. Uh, if you're interested in that, I wrote a blog post about it on which this video is going to go. I'll include a link down at the bottom so you can check that out. It's a little bit of a lengthy read, but if you're interested, give it a look. And it comes in under the cost of the top brands. Not by much, mind you, but it is less than, say, Staub or Le Creuset. It's also induction compatible. Now, here's some of the things that I don't like. The handle initially seemed a little bit difficult to grip. Now, this is not a design issue, right? To their credit, they put on the website that it's designed to be gripped with an oven mitt like this. But the first time I was using it, my dumbass tried to use a towel. Grabbed it like this, got it down here. I burned my knuckles, but that's my fault. It's not their fault. The other thing is, is that after a little bit of use, I notice the coating on the outside, I don't know if you can see this, is starting to get a little bit marred. I don't know if that's an issue. I don't know if it's something that's going to give me trouble down the road. I certainly hope not. I don't think so if I'm careful with it. But uh, it's, again, not a deal breaker, just something I noticed. Now, if you decide that you want one, they do these in limited production runs. So basically they're not cranking them out all the time. What they do is they specify a date and they say we're going to make so many and if you want to reserve one within that date, which is 9-30-21 as of this video, you drop your money, they'll do it in that production run and then you wait for shipment. Now they have had some production issues. Right? They are having problems filling the last of their Kickstarter reward pledges. Uh, you know, I've known a few people that have done Kickstarter campaigns before. There's always issues. It's nothing to get uptight about. I was on their website a little while ago and looking at some of the comments left by people that haven't gotten their Dutch ovens yet, and they're just absolutely appalling. Now, this is a husband and wife team. There's only two of them, and they do all the work themselves. And they do give regular updates as to what's going on and how they're trying to get past their production problems and fill their pledges. So if you're watching this and you haven't received yours yet and you're miffed, I get it, but chill out. You will get yours. I'm confident that they will fulfill their pledges. Just be a little bit patient. Now the price for this is about $280 as of when I'm making this video. Yes, it is a bit of an outlay to be sure, um, but if you have the means, I highly suggest picking one up because you'll only buy it once. 
and you'll probably die with it and your children will fight over it. And you can have it buried with you if you don't like your kids too well. If you care for it properly, it should last you a lifetime. So this is the Burrow Furnace Enamel Dutch Oven. I love it. I highly suggest it. This is not a paid advertisement, by the way. They're not compensating me at all. They don't even know I'm doing this. I'm just saying this because I like it and one of my commenters asked me to. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you've seen. Uh, follow us on our social media channels. The links will be in below and we'll see you next time on Barbell Cooking.